Hi everyone, my name is Bob Francisco of ETS Pro Technical Training. I'm a health and safety consultant and I develop and deliver training programs for professional and technical people. One of my programs is providing forklift truck beginners training for prospective forklift truck operators. I would like to share a bit about safe forklift truck operation. My lesson is about the stability triangle of a counterbalance forklift truck. In order for you to understand what this is all about, I'm going to discuss with you the principles of triangle stability and how it affects the truck stability while in operation and importantly, how to avoid the overturning of the forklift truck, which unfortunately is happening in some area of operation involving forklift truck utilization. Almost all counterbalance industrial forklift truck have a three point suspension system. That is, the vehicle is supported at three points. This is true even if the vehicle has four wheels. Sometimes forklift truck is designed to have three wheels only. Most of them are the smaller units like the electric forklift. The truck's steer axle is attached to the truck by a pivot pin in the axle center. When this point is connected to the front wheels with imaginary lines, this three point support forms a triangle called the stability triangle. Triangle A, B, C, where point A is the pivot point in the rear axle and points B and C are the front wheels. So long as the center of gravity remains within the stability triangle, the truck is stable and will not tip over. When the forklift is not loaded, the location of the forklift center of gravity is the only factor to be considered in determining its stability. The center of gravity is between the axle of the steel wheels at A and the drive wheels at B and C. And it is marked with the arrow as the vehicle center of gravity when it is unloaded. The combined center of gravity of the forklift and its maximum load shifts forward toward the load so that it is now located on the line representing the front axle at the very edge of the triangle stability. While the loaded forklift is still theoretically stable, in practice, the combined center of gravity should never reach this line because sudden stops, starts, and turns could shift the center of gravity further out and destabilize the forklift. A shift of the center of gravity occurs as the forklift is loaded. The forklift is more stable when it is properly loaded than when it is unloaded. However, improper loading such as loading the forklift beyond its capacity or loading an oversized wide load without adjusting the weight will cause the forklift to tip over either laterally on its side or longitudinally forward. The direction of the tip over will depend on where the combined center of gravity shifts outside the stability triangle. Now, let me discuss with you the aspects of some of the truck's stability condition. Lateral stability is a truck's resistance to overturning sideways. For example, if one is driving fast and turning in a 90 degree corner with a loaded truck, there's a chance that the center of gravity will shift out laterally. When that happens, the truck might overturn to the side. That is to the outside of the curb. That is also caused by the centrifugal force created by the turn. Dynamic refers to the idea that and a loaded forklift center of gravity and a loaded forklift combined center of gravity can shift outside of the stability triangle as a result of certain movements, such as suddenly starting forward or sudden stops, or turns and applying brakes at the same time, or even with a race load, or operating on grades. 
In order to prevent this from happening, the operator must learn to behave more prudent by driving slowly on such situations. Line of action is an imaginary vertical line through an object's center of gravity. Center of gravity must be within the imaginary lines or within the triangle to maintain stability of the truck. Load center is the horizontal distance from the fork's vertical face to the line of action through the load center of gravity. For example, if the truck is picking up a one meter sized pallet, an inner side of the pallet is against the face of the fork, the load centers effectively be 500 centimeter or half a meter. And if the load chart indicates 500 centimeter load center, then you are on the safe side as far as the truck specs as indicated on the chart. Moment is the product of the object's weight times the distance from a fixed point, usually the fulcrum. In the case of a forklift truck, the distance is measured from the point at which the truck will tip over to the object's line of action. The distance is always measured perpendicular to the line of action. Now, let us discuss about the requirements and recommended practices in order to maintain an efficient and safe operation of the forklift truck. Maintain stability. Keep the combined center of gravity within the stability triangle as I have discussed earlier. This may not be a hard thing to do. Do not accelerate rapidly or brake suddenly especially when the truck is turning in a corner. Sudden changes in direction may also shift the combined center of gravity outside the vehicle stability triangle and destabilize it. Do not turn rapidly and do not apply the brake. The combined center of gravity may shift outside the stability triangle and may cause the vehicle to tip over to the left or right side. Never turn on a grade or ramp. Even a 10% grade may shift combined center of gravity outside the stability triangle and cause the vehicle to roll over laterally. Cross an obstacle like bumpy trucks in case you drive the truck outside the building or the premises over a beam, over a speed bump, or over a, a pothole. Drive over them at a 45 degree angle so that so both wheels do not elevate simultaneously. Maintain control of your vehicle at all times. Adjust your speed to match the conditions. Be aware and anticipate dangerous motions and avoid them. Consider the dynamic forces that result when the vehicle and load are put into motion. The weights transfer and the resultant shift in the center of gravity due to the dynamic forces created when the machine is moving, braking, cornering, lifting, tilting, and lowering loads and others are important stability considerations. When determining whether a load can be safely handled, the operator should exercise extra caution when handling loads that are close to the truck's stated capacity. You can check out the truck's load chart to confirm specifications such as load capacity, load center, and maximum height the truck can operate. In doing so, you ensure that you aren't over the specified capacities of the truck. If an operator must handle a maximum load, the load should be carried at the lowest position possible. The truck should be accelerated slowly and evenly, and the fork should be tilted forward cautiously. However, no one's rule can cover all eventualities, so be very careful when operating the truck. Always think about your safety and the safety of others, not to mention the property damage when accidents happen. That's it for now. I hope that you learned even just a bit of this video. Thank you for watching and so long.